Hey there, welcome to this episode of Things You Didn't Know You Wanted to Know. Today we're going to learn how to use a mocha pot. So let's roll up our sleeves and get started. The mocha pot has a few parts. The top, called the upper chamber, the bottom, and of course that handy little place where your coffee grounds go. First things first, you fill up your lower chamber with water. The espresso powder, which you can buy at the grocery store, fill up the filter portion of your mocha pot. How full your filter is depends on how much coffee you're going to make. So for me, I'm making one cup, so I use this much espresso powder. So now to put it all together. We take the filter of coffee and we put it down into the top of the base of our mocha pot. We take the cover, put that on top of there, and then we attach the top of our mocha pot. So you light your stove, and I didn't do this on camera because I thought that I would probably light the kitchen on fire, but you light your stove, leave it on like medium, medium high, and then set your mocha pot right on. The mocha pot was first emitted in 1933. The way it works is that when the water in the lower container boils, the steam pressurized water is pushed up through the funnel, up through your coffee, and pours out the spout in the top container. In Italy, these are called macchinettas, which means like little machine. Coffee is ready is the classic gurgling sound, and a real espresso pro will tell you that you should take the espresso off the heat before it gurgles. But if this is your first time, don't worry about it. Take it off when it gurgles. Also, one neat fact, each mocha pot has a safety valve on the lower container just in case the pressure gets a lower container so that water can pour out of there and not onto your hands or your stovetop. Also, if you'd like to make a cafe latte or a cafe con leche as the Spaniards call it, all you have to do is this. Put some milk in a pot on the stove for low heat and keep an eye on it, stirring it to make sure that it doesn't form a film. It's almost time. And now it is time. My ratio of water to espresso powder wasn't all that great, but it's all right. This is an example of what you shouldn't do with your milk. It should not have that. Basically, this video is an example of what not to do while making a coffee. Mm -hmm. Most people add sugar. And here's Katrina, the lucky recipient of espresso. Mmm, yum! So our mocha pot espresso slash coffee, whatever you feel like making, is a total success. So now to put it all together, we're gonna take our filter of coffee. Here's another tip of what not to do. Drink it directly after it comes off the mocha pot. 